Right then, another beer review here today. Again, I'm joined by Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews Hello. and Craig from Kent Beer Reviews. And Hello. today we have a beer from Thornbridge is a special, the Love Among the Ruins. There we are. Now I'll pick this up from Clink. Never been there before until today. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd try it out and see what it's all about. Um, yeah, got all this speciality nonsense around. Yeah, I'm not gonna even bother trying to pull it off, but uh, there we are. Uh, easily done. But uh, yeah, love among the ruins. Sour red ale, aged in uh, red burgundy barrels with uh, cherries. This beer is the second iteration of a project we have been working on at the brewery for a few years now. We ha uh, we have wanted to create a modern sour ale aged in uh, barrels that has ha that will have the same complexity and depth of flavour that our favourite sours from the USA offer. We uh, after, after using a Belgian yeast strain to give a good uh, foundation on the beer uh, which, to, which we want to build on, uh, we aged the beer in uh, burgundy barrels with the uh, with, with fruit for over for well over a year. Uh, adding cultures of Brett, which Brett and Amyces, everyone knows, uh, Pediocus and uh, Lactobacillus, all sort of mm. yeah, sort of yeast yeastiness, all good yeastiness really. At set points uh, to let us sour the beer gradually, gradually over many months and give layers of a uh, flavour that can only develop over time. The rich fruit aroma and flavours complement the sharp sourness which substitutes for more malt and yeast character to come through over time. Lively, dry and thirst quenching, uh, this is a beer to savour, a, a complex mature sour ale that we have uh, made fulfills our original objective. Uh, this bottle condition beer has a layer of yeast at the bottom of it, so uh, yeah, we'll be uh, careful over pouring it. So, here we are anyway. Oh. Open up carefully, moving everything out of the way because it may explode. <coughs> Cage taken off it. That might go. Might go. That's pushing it. Okay. Oh. Right here? No. We're alright. We're alright. Yeah. We're alright. So. Yeah, baby. We're alright. So. Point you set. Here's your <coughs> glass first. With a bit of a Picard pour. <laughs> pour pouring it a proper hard, chucking it down. Nice and hard. <laughs> this is a glass though. It's not just a. <laughs> kind of a, a jar. <laughs> Pick our jar. Where's your own glass? Left it over there, that's why. There. Yeah. It was. So this is the uh, the first pour. I'm getting a bit of aroma of something. I can't quite. Almost barley wine ish. I, I don't know. Cheers. So, yeah. Cool. Looking good. In that one, anyway. On to the other two. Yeah. Where well, it would be different. The little first bit. one is still very cloudy. Yeah, a little bit like of swirl again. Light yeah. mahogany. Cloudy, ready, orange. Mine's a bit more sort of murky and muddier. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So here we go. It's first, second, third. Yeah. Mm. Still murky for a first pour. So. It's, it's generally not too different from each other. No, not really. Um, I think the top end's a little bit. Paler looking at it yeah. from this angle. Yeah, I've, I've, on given, my, I've my given glass. a good swirl, so you yeah. get to see it a bit more. It's like a, yeah, a slightly dark mahogany, coppery colour. Decent yeah. head retention. What's the ABV, by the way? Um, didn't, didn't catch that. This one, isn't it? Um, 8 Yeah, it's about 7% ABV. So. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, best before the first of June, twenty twenty one. But then this style of beer, come on, yes, don't, don't worry about it at all. Yeah, it's it's reasonably reasonably sour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
eye watering sour. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be sour. I just know it's going to be sour. Sour, big sour cherries on yeah. the taste. Yeah. Is it, is it, again, it's that kind of. I'm getting a bit of alcohol to it. Yeah, it's whether it's a, that or I look. I keep saying it on a few a reviews. Bougie. Perfumey. It's it's yeah it's, that kind it's, of thing. But it's going to be you and get that warmth as well. Yeah. I can I can just yeah. tell already you can get that alcohol boozy warmth. Is this like well. kind of nutty edge? I don't know if it's like a chestnut yeah. or something. Yeah, it's definitely some sort of like nutty woodiness about it. Yeah, yeah. It's like spice, maybe white pepper. Or... It, it, I, I tend to find it tends to come with the sort of sour beers yeah. you can tend I mean, to I, get a little bit more woodiness about it. This is more of a complex sour than your bog standard. Mm. that I've tried in my limited experience yeah but, um, big fan of either way yeah yeah it's it's my sort of sour it's my sort of it's definitely you know. a chestnut edge it's like Christmas not massive spice but it's it's, it's sit back N- slowly drink it slightly nutmeg sort of like a with, with, with that spice on top yeah well, that's the proper dominant like a, for me, so. a slow, slow drinker. Yeah. Sipper. Yeah. But, uh, either way. Cheers. 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 Whoa. Definitely Jesus vinegar. Jesus Christ. Vinegary esque. Yes. The, the, yes. That is um. Strong. Strong. Decent flavour. This is this, this, this yeah. is a yeah. uh, for the more seasoned uh, sour drinker. Yeah, that is sour. Potent. Fucking this reminds out. me of the uh, beer I had last year. Uh, um, Italian. Like, I can't remember what it was now. Like a little bit sour, then it with, just keeps with, coming at you. With mm. Robert and uh, Simon. Oh, Simon. Man. Yeah. What a beer. What a beer. Really it's like aggressive. A little bit of woodiness, a little bit of, sort yeah. of like red yeah. wine at the start. This is like a full body sour. And then it just, then it just hits you. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's a proper. Yeah. Full, no nonsense. It's a proper if, sour. If you can have a full body sour, this will be it mm. for me. This is probably only the second rooms. sour I've had of, of this kind of magnitude. Yeah, yeah. Different league, isn't it? From This is I, not. The ones we've had. If you've never had a sour before, this is not for you. This is among the sort of Cantillon range. Yeah, this is you're, like, you're up there. This is Cantillon. Yeah, you're up there. Yeah. The yeah. quality of Cantillon here, right here, easily. Mm. Um, that's an excellent brew. Oh. Oh. But, it, but uh, the, it follows, the it mouth follows through, through it is really smooth, isn't it? It's smooth, I mean, but it the, follows the, through. You know they get an initial wow. It's got a big bite to it. And but then it yeah. carries smooth. on. Body, there's a fair amount of bu- bubbliness to it, sort yeah, of like bubbly car- yeah. carbonation to it, but um, yeah, man, it's just mad, it's just mad from there on. It's like a spicy balsamic <laughs> vinegar, again, it tastes like a horribly, horribly off beer, but uh, but it's but, not, but, but, but it's not, it's not, not, but it's not. yeah, yeah, um. Yeah, that that that's how it'd come across, wouldn't it? To I can some... feel I can feel this thing going on here. And just thinking, please reject it. <laughs> but but this no, is no. definitely not something I'm used to. Mm. Yeah, this is probably only the second sour I've had that has given me this kind of. I appreciate more now than I did last year. Yeah, on the same kind of yeah full-bodied sour, if that makes sense. Yeah, this is definitely a full-bodied sour. Mm. Should um, I just wait until we get off of that? <laughs> That'll be just like a whole yeah, new level for you. But no. This is an excellent, 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 excellent. Every is good. Um, oh, she ate me again. The seven, so, yeah. Scores and doors. 4.5. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm 4.5 again from me. I'm going for a four. Yeah. Yeah, okay. for me. I, I think it's an excellent it's, it's, it's very brew. good. Yeah, it, yeah. But I need to adjust my palate for this level of sour. Mm-hmm. I still know it's a good beer. It's... I appreciate more than last year. 
Last year, I would have given this a six. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, or, it, or, or a three it, I mean, out of five, whatever. It stands to reason, doesn't it? It's a it's a very it's acquired pro- taste. It's yeah. a progressive. Yeah, yeah. You've got more chance appreciation of, of this style luring a, a novice onto an IPA than you have getting him to drink. This is it. another level of beer. Yeah, different. I think I think with sours in general, you need to know exactly what is a good beer from a bad beer, and it's really quite yeah. hard to. I'm appreciating it more than last year. But I'm still give me two or three years, yeah. and I'll be like, yeah. I've got respect. I've got respect for the style, oh, and, and I have I'll, now. I'll be brutally honest. It's not my favourite style. And this week, yeah. I've drunk but more sours. I do than respect ever. it. Yeah. 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 I think uh, honestly, that's the same with anyone to speak to. Really. Yeah. It's it's not my favourite style, but I happily review, I happily drink yeah. it, and see what it tastes like. But uh, you've got to check it out, haven't you? Yeah. You've got to. You have to. It might be a fish and chips to a degree, just without your chips. Just, you're making me want to stop it it's, yeah, yeah. it's that kind of like yeah yeah in in kind of layman's terms for yeah. me a basic kind of oh what's that taste like and, and vinegar lots of vinegar mind bending isn't and it then, yeah. and then you yeah. just, it's your chips and then that that vid, you know that's sort of like everyone knows yeah, yeah. but that's what it is just pure, um, pure in a glass cracking brew cracking brew yeah let's see it here it is anyway Love among the ruins. I'll do From that. Thornbridge. Thornbridge bad boy. See it, try it. If you like your try sours. It, try it, buy it, send yeah. it to us. Come on. Send it to us mainly, but anyway. Thanks in guys. Cheers. Cheers.